everyone pay close attention. We have a wonderful recipe in the kitchen for you today from a gentleman who at one time was a recording artist for Epic Records. And, of course, he had a love for food as well. So he's uh, gone from making rock and roll to making dinner rolls. I guess. <laughs> I <know. laughs> Why not? Now, he has a book and a cassette attached to it called Sing and Cook Italian. Mm -hmm. We will give you the number to call if you would like to purchase it in just a moment. In the meantime, you have got to see this recipe. This is the singing chef, Andy LaRusso. Hello, Andy. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yes, Darling, we, yeah. we love the Italian we food. We love the Italian food. And so you go around the country All and you, country. you teach yes. people to cook. Do you make and them sing? And yeah. you make them sing too. Okay. Or else they don't eat. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we got to fix it first. Let's, let's okay. prepare something, then we'll sing, and then we'll does eat. Recipe, let's do that. Does this recipe have a name? Yes, this is called spinach a la Romana stuffed portobello mushrooms. <laughs> you have to roll what? the R's. What? With what? a toasted polenta rounds with roasted peppers, shallots, and baby asparagus. This looks like it's difficult to make. Right, no, it's very simple. You want to do it? I do. Let's do it. Okay. okay. Here's what we do. We have the fresh spinach here, probably okay. about two pounds. We'll mm -hmm. get rid of that. We have the portobello mushrooms here. Lorian, would you like to come on over here right over and uh, take care of the mushrooms? Here's the portobellas right mm -hmm. there. You can use portobello. These are portobellos, actually. Portobello is a little smaller. Yeah, have you put right. oil get in rid here? Of this. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of garlic. Mm -hmm. Now we have, of course, all these wonderful ingredients that are going to go into our spinach now, you know the dish thing, here. Those look like, in a sense, that they're burned, but they're not, really. No, they're those dark. are, yeah, that's what the, the outside of it is. No, what we do right. now is we put the pine nuts in, a little bit mm -hmm. of pine nuts, mm -hmm. about a half a cup of pine nuts. We already have the oil in here, the garlic, and the currants. This gives it that nice, sweet, oh. romantic Italian taste. Feel free to write okay. to us for the recipe. And then we here go we go. We have a, just a little bit of prosciutto, but that's going to go on the top of it. Gotcha. So right. let's get a little spoon right here. Mm -hmm. That's a big spoon. <laughs> that's a big spoon. Okay. In my family, we used to do this all the time. And Grandma was from Sicily, and my mm -hmm. father was from Potenza. And he was mm -hmm. my role model in a lot so of my So are these cooking. old family recipes that you're sharing? A lot of them are, uh, Lorianne. Mm -hmm. But the idea is I love to cook and have a good time in doing it. Mm -hmm. So how about we stuff some of these mushrooms All out? Because right. they're ready to be stuffed. Can do we it. have a plate over there? Certainly. We'll Got give right that ready. to Lorianne here. Now, do you, do you grill these here. on both sides or just yes. one? Yes, you can right. do that on both sides. This is just perfectly almost just the right size here. Mm -hmm. Let's just do two, just do two. now. Okay. And let's put a little bit of the... Um, can we turn this burner off? Yes. It's we hot. Can do that. Start with the spinach bed there. We'll do the spinach bit there. That's it. Lorianne, would you like to grab that? We'll yes. get that little right there. You know, uh, in my family, we always sang Did when we own? cooked. We yeah. always sang. We had Enrico Caruso on Mario Lanza. Uh, and I was brought up in New Jersey. And, you know, we used to stand on the street corners and sing a cappella. We're, we're going to really? make you sing in a minute. All right. And, uh, but first, let's do a little tasting. Right. Now, we already did, the, we browned these real nicely. Mm -hmm. The polenta, actually, we use polenta rolls. I'll put this over here. Okay. The polenta rolls are actually pre-made polenta, so it's real easy. Yeah, show them, Charlie, yeah. how it comes. And you just slice here, this. Oh, you got to oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. pre-made polenta. You can just buy them like this, slice them in uh, quarter-inch mm -hmm. uh, rounds. And... Real quick, real okay. easy, saute them on both sides, a little bit of olive oil, a little mm. bit of garlic, and uh, roasted peppers, of course, the parmesan, the pecorino cheese, which is a goat type of cheese, the shallots, and the roasted peppers, and mm. they go on top of the polenta rounds. And gotcha. Looks like Would you hold that? This, Certainly. Okay, and we get the polenta rounds, we'll put those on here. Gotcha. So like a there. Yeah. I, and I then keep we looking have... up here at the finished product to try to try the yeah, best way to do it, That's it, right? it. yeah, that's good. It's so now, a little bit of the asparagus hearts, uh, no, the asparagus tips, actually. You can right put there. that on top. Mm -hmm. See how nice that looks? You're so artistic. And there we go. This is a very and simple And there we recipe. go, the polenta rounds. Very simple recipe, but it tastes even better. Okay, and That's a little cheese on top here? Little pecorino cheese on top. You can use a Romano, or you can use a Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh, can I try one of these? Absolutely. All right. We have a little fork for you. If not, not use I'll your use fingers. I'll use my fingers. Why okay. do I care? There you Want to do that? Yes, I'm going to Okay, like a polenta taco. That's a mushroom over here. Okay, I here's check a mushroom over here okay. for you. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll do it. And we'll do that. Um, How about singing a little bit? Everybody, mm, everybody at home and everybody good. in the studio audience, let's do a song everybody knows. That's Simone. You ready? I know that one. When the moon hits you, I like a bigger pizza pie. That's Simone. What an audience. <laughs> when the world seems to shine like you have too much wine, that's Simone. Bells will ring, ting-a-ling-a-ling, ting-a-ling-a-ling, and you'll sing, Vita Bella. Hearts will play, 
Hearts will play tippy tippy tay, tippy tippy tay, like a gay tad and tell. That's a dance. Come on, when the stars make you go, just like Pascal, the address at the end of the show, along with the telephone number where you can get off. Special thanks to the singing chef. Thank you, Andy. We'll be right back with more Crook and Chase. Thank you very much. Coming up, a performance from pop sensation Olita Adams. You don't want to miss it. Next on Crook and Chase.